Where, oh, where has my Boba Fett gone? Where, oh, where can he be? That's right, baby. Boba Fett is gone. There's no more Boba Fett. There's only the Mando. Anyway, it's your man Z here from Our Reviews Will Kill You, and I am here to talk spoilers about episode six. I was going to rant insanely about episode five, and I will just speak just a few points about episode five, but we'll go over episode six and what in the world is going on with Boba Fett? I don't understand. Why even have the show? If the show's six, no, seven episodes, and two of them are not about Boba Fett, why have them? Why have a series called The Book of Boba Fett? Chapter one, The Book of Boba Fett. So just a reminder, spoilers here, folks, but The Book of Boba Fett, yet it's the Mando story... And first of all, stop calling him Mando. That is racist. That's like saying uh, something racist. Like, you're just calling a person by, like, hey, Ireland, or hey, Scottish. Come here, Scotch. Like, what? Call him Jindarin, or whatever his name is. I can't remember. Anyway, so episode five has... It's all Mando, all the time. Boba Fett doesn't even show up in it. Why would that be a chapter in Boba Fett's book? <laughs> Boba Fett doesn't know what happened with the Mando. <laughs> and can we please stop making Wizard a thing? It's not a thing. Stop making it try to happen. Wizard's not a thing. You can't say Wizard. Just because Anakin said it in one of the prequels, you're not allowed to say it. Wizard's not a thing. It's not cool. Don't say it. Especially coming from a grown-ass man. Don't say wizard. Anyway, <laughs> let's go. Let's talk about chapter six. Chapter six. Uh, okay. The, <laughs> these people have a serious Luke Skywalker pro, uh, problem. None of this makes sense. What are they doing with Grogu? Why, okay, first of all, why would Boba Fett have a chapter about freaking Grogu? What the... Boba Fett doesn't even remain. He's like, this is a little green guy that was with the Mandalorian that I helped for a second. Like, what? What? <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay. Got to calm down. Got to focus. Promise. I'm going to focus here, folks. It just doesn't make any sense. What is going on? All right. Let's just go over the episode. I, I think I liked it. I don't really know. Skywalker, what are they doing? Why do they keep having Skywalker in this? You can't do it forever. You can't keep having a CGI Skywalker. It just doesn't work. Just cast Sebastian Stan as Luke Skywalker, please. Let's just be done with this nonsense. Just do something different. How did Rey gonna meet... The dude's building a new Jedi temple. How? And it's not on a water planet with... With, um giant walruses with big teats that you can milk with green milk like they're destroying what are they doing they're destroying the the, the the new sequels and he sure doesn't seem like he shut himself off from the force for 30 years or 20 years or 10 i can't keep track of it i don't know what's going on anymore and now they throw in all this stuff like look to be honest with everybody i'm just a star wars fan I watched the original Star Wars. I watched George Lucas fiddle with the Star Wars several times. I watched the prequels. I walked out of the first prequel and I talked to my friend next to me and I said, did I like that movie? Cause I don't think I did. And then I was like, I think I need to see it like two or three more times. And then I was still like, I don't think I like that movie. And I'm not a big fan of the prequels. But great googly moogly. I mean, and I like the books. I like the old books, the Legends books. But all this stuff with the Clone Wars, I don't know any of it. I don't watch any of it. I don't know what's going on. Why are they throwing these people in? I fell for watching the Clone Wars movie when it came out. I got suckered into watching that with... Uh... Anyway, let's go through this. 
Um, lots of it was like Cameo Express. Like let's just let's just have fifty million cameos. Um, they did. I mean, it's cool to see Timothy Oliphant again. I like to see him. I like his character. I like the idea of the there's most Esli and most most Espa and then most Pendo or whatever. I think that's kind of cool. I get all that. I'm kind of cool. Of course, this article is going to go backwards. So we reunite. Yeah, Cobb Vanth, the marshal of most Pelgo, a.k.a. Freetown, was wearing the Boba Fett armor. Cool. <laughs> Perpetual owner of the greatest hair in Hollywood. Okay. Yes, yes. So this this bounty hunter shows up. This guy's cool. He's cool looking, but I was, it was, they seemed like I was supposed to know who he was. Extremely familiar to Clone Wars fans. I don't know what this dude is. He's pretty cool, but what, what is going on here? Who does he work for? He works for number two. Employed by the Pikes. Or the, or, or the, I don't know who he works for. I don't know what's going on here. So anywhere, anyway, whatever. This guy, bounty hunter guy, kind of cool. The good, the bad, the ugly, sure. All right, so he's from the Clone Wars. You do that. More Luke. <laughs> Why? Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Can't they just give him a beard? Or something like you because sometimes the CGI was good from like a distance and then sometimes it would get wonky again and it's like yo I thought you guys perfected this in the Marvel movies why are we still having problems here I thought you stole some youtubers who were gonna help you with this with the deep fake stuff and now like Grogu's not really baby Yoda anymore I just want baby Yoda I don't want like toddler Yoda look what happened to Groot Groot grew up, and Groot's not cute anymore. I want baby Groot. I want baby Yoda. No more. Nothing else. Keep it away from me if it's gonna if you're gonna age him up. So Jedi Temple, okay. They had um, Ahsoka Tano. I like Ahsoka Tano. I know she's gonna have her own series. Can somebody give her motivation? Give her something to do. Give this woman something because right now I don't even know why she's on the planet. And then Luke's like. Well, uh, am I going to see you again? And she's like, I don't know. And I'm like, what are you doing on this planet, lady? And she's like, I don't know. And then Mandalorian's like, what are you doing here? And he's like, I don't know. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't understand. And then this whole, this adhering to this Jedi code nonsense Luke didn't abandon his sister, and I'm pretty sure he loved his sister in more ways than one. So do not give me this whole thing about Luke and his sister. Please, stop. With the whole, like, you can't have attachments. Grogu and Mando. I said it. I shouldn't have said it. Jin Jarin, whatever his name, Jar Jar Jarin, should be allowed to be together. Father and son. Foundling and Mandalorian. Anyway... And then he remembers something. He remembers, I guess this is Order 66 they're showing. Like, I want to remember that. I don't want to remember that. Why does he remember it? I thought I erased it from my memory. Why is he erased? Why didn't he erase it from his? And then if he got seized by the... by, I, I don't know what's going on here. Anyway, whatever. Gunned down by clones. Taking up some young... Like... Why have Vader murder all the younglings and then be like, no, we want baby Yoda? Can anyone explain any of this to me? I don't understand. Stop trying to fit it into old lore. We don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I like Mandalorian. I kind of like Boba Fett if he would be in his own show. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, anyway, let's keep going. And then he offers him the choice. Between a chainmail suit and a freaking lightsaber. First of all, if I was Baby Yoda, I'd be like, yo, give me both. I don't pick your decisions. They my decisions. I'm a grown-ass man at this point. But no, we don't do that. All right. 
Keep going, keep going. Uh, observations and Easter eggs. Yeah, I saw it was directed by Dave Filoni, who mostly does CGI. I thought it was all right. I liked it. Whatever. Um, yeah, Luke was a little bit better than in the Mandalorian season finale. We don't know who saved Grogu. It's probably Obi-Wan. Who the heck? Everything revolves around Baby Yoda at this point. I do, <laughs> I do like that R2 was in it. I still don't understand. I, I didn't get to rant about this. They're making a big deal about the Naboo fighter, which, like, if a small child can drive a Naboo fighter, then it's a useless fighter. Um, Mandalorian's a bounty hunter because they showed that he was still collecting bounties. He needs a gunship like the Razor Crest to carry said bounties in. If he has a starfighter, he can't do that. How's he making money? And then on top of that, because he's like, I got credits for days, baby. He offered to pay for drinks. Where do you get those credits, man? Anyway, he also, they took out the astromech droid, which means he can't do hyperspace jumps, but he can do hyperspace jumps. I understand in a bigger ship like the Razor Crest, maybe it's built into the system, like it's a bigger ship, it has a bigger computer, whatever. I don't know how that works, I'm just saying. But clearly all the starfighters need astromech droids if they're going to do hyperspace jumps. But he doesn't, what's he doing all this math in his head? Din Djarin, the bumbling fool that he is, does all this in his head? I don't think so. The man couldn't even keep himself from getting cut from his own dang lightsaber. Cutting himself up. What a fool. Anyway. Oh my gosh. Yeah, seeing Grogu do flips was pretty wonderful. No, it's not wonderful. I didn't like it when Yoda was doing flips all over the place. Yoda and the Emperor are supposed to be above such petty things as lightsabers. They have forced lightning. They can just scald people to death with their forced lightning. If the Emperor could jump around and use a lightsaber, why didn't he use it against Luke in, 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 uh, in Jedi? The reason why he didn't use it, because he was too powerful. He doesn't need a, a lightsaber. That's for children. It's for little youngling Jedis. He is the Emperor. He can just burn you down with forced lightning. Same with baby or with with Yoda. Yoda should just burn him down with force lightning, not jump around like a crazy freak, swinging his lightsaber around, jumping around. This is the worst invention they ever did. Wow, I feel like I'm being a real downer here. <laughs> I liked it. It was all right. It was good. What did you think? Do you agree with my criticisms? <laughs> I have a lot of them. Do you like Yoda jumping around? I like this episode, but if you're going to do Mandalorian season 2.5, just do Mandalorian season 2.5. Don't, I want to expand the universe. I don't want to shrink it. And I don't want it all to be based on baby Yoda. And I don't want it all to be based on the Mandalorian and whatever's going to happen with uh, Mandalore and the whole dark saber and that whole thing. So if it's just going to keep being cameos, like, I, I don't know, just uh, let's focus on something here, folks. Let's not just have like, oh, you can't have something called the Book of Boba Fett with no Boba Fett. And even Tamora Morrison said, like, you having me talk too much? Like, come on. It's, 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 it's close. I like it. I don't want to hate it. I really like the new music now. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments because I'd like to, I'm, I'm curious what you guys think. Am I ranting too much? Am I too much of a maniac? Am I overthinking this? Should I just enjoy it? Or are you guys having trouble with it just like I am? I don't know. Let me know down below because I'd love to have a conversation. And as for me, I am, as always, I'm on to the next one. Ah.